Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Um, grab your vices, chill out, and let's get straight to it. This is episode 27 of Straightforward with Miss B, alongside my guest co host, AG. Say what's up, AG. What it do, everybody? We back. We is we is definitely back and glad to be here as well. Uh, um first I wanted to start off this podcast just thanking everyone who um chimed in, have watched our playback of the our very first um group chat live on YouTube. Um we did that after last week's podcast, which I believe we did mention it briefly on um episode twenty six. Um, but I think it went very well. We was on there for almost close to two hours. Um, I think it's something we definitely going to continue to do on our YouTube channel. Just try to, you know, add add additional content to the YouTube channel so people can, um, you know, come on, be interactive, engage with us as well. Um, so if you guys, you guys will be able to hear this prior to um, our second installment of Group Chat Live. Um, which will be actually this Sunday coming up. And I believe we will probably go live somewhere around 8 or 9 o'clock p.m. But um, to make sure that you are there on time, um, you can always subscribe to the channel. And that is straightforward, S-T-R, the number 8, F-W-D, with Miss B um, on YouTube. And click on the, there is going to be a bell that you will need to click on so that you can be notified when we actually go live. So don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell. So I wanted to start off uh, with that. Did you enjoy yourself on the live last week? Oh, I sure did. I really did. I wish we did it today. I need, I like looking at myself on the phone. Oh my God! You think you look good? <laughs> oh my God! Do I have a narcissist on the line? <laughs> I think I got a narcissist on my hands. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh my God! Yeah, it's a different type of. Yeah, you definitely get a different feel when you kind of see yourself back it's one thing to just hear only your voice on something you know just the audio but right. then once you see yourself you see how you are you see you know just how you maybe respond to questions or just see how you look how you're moving you your gestures like we, and all of that feel like we in the same place <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We're right. Instead of us, yeah, instead of us being so far apart and not, like you said, not in the same building. Okay, well, I'm glad you uh, enjoyed it. I, I talked to uh, Wendy. I talked to Renee as well. Um, they both enjoyed it also. Uh, what we need to do now um, is definitely be sure to, you know, once we go live, don't share the StreamYard link, but you can always click on the um and, you know, maybe your wife can help you figure out how to do this, but you can click on the actual YouTube live and there's a button you can click where it says share and you just click on copy link. That way you can post it to your Facebook while we still live. You know what I'm saying? Post it to your Facebook, post it to maybe, you know, text some people that you know on your phone, just share the YouTube live link to them so that, you know, we can all start kind of help promoting it. You know, that way we can get more live viewer, you know, viewers when we are actually live. You know what I mean? Instead of people having right. to come back after it's right. over and watch the, uh, you know, watch the playback. So uh, we have to make sure that we are doing that, especially when we are live. All of us, you know, just kind of sharing it to our platform so we can, you know, start getting more people to watch. Uh, watching everything um, but yeah I enjoyed myself I definitely enjoyed myself as well one thing I was thinking about one thing I was thinking about I was like oh my god I think all of us curses too much we curse too much <laughs> did you realize that no I mean I know everybody curse I know you were sitting back in the cut letting us do everything so you can tell on us yeah <laughs> <laughs> nah, this one. <laughs> so you say y'all cussing, that one cussing. Yeah, but I mean, 
I mean, the reason why I was so quiet is one, I was trying to figure out StreamYard. That was the first time I ever went live. You know what I mean? So I'm looking at the the actual control board on StreamYard, trying to figure, okay, how do I do this? How do I change this? How how do I change the colors and you know that type of stuff? So I was too busy trying to pay attention to that. You know what I'm saying? But I was still yeah. listening in. But um, I promise I'll definitely, you know, I'll check myself on that and make that improvement going forward to be more engaging, even myself as a host, um, you know, because who needs just sit some a boring host just sitting there not saying anything. So, yeah, I, I mean, I check myself on that. Um, I saw that also. And I plan on just like I said, making sure I improve upon that and definitely be more you know, participate more in the discussion. Um, but I definitely wanted you guys to, you know, I did want you guys to kind of have the floor, you know what I'm saying? Have the floor yeah. and um, be able to, you know, express yourselves. But um, outside of that, yeah, me me trying to figure out the best way for my setup of my, because I don't have, I'm using StreamYard for my iPad. Eventually, I think I probably am going to. I have monitors and computers and stuff, but I think I am going to probably end up buying a Mac, um, you know, a Mac computer. That way, I can have my laptop. Maybe I can use that to maybe stream on Facebook or stream on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? The same time we are doing the live as well. Just kind of, you know, just having different, um, different you know computers or whatnot around or devices around so we can be streaming in multiple places at one time um but yeah i was trying to figure out i kept dropping the, the shit to how i had it kind of propped up so yeah i had to i gotta figure all that out <laughs> <laughs> okay well, yeah pass on that one. right so you know so the takeaway from that um you guys we had a great discussion if you haven't seen it like i said go to our youtube you can listen in on the discussion and definitely, you know, leave comments if you like, like the um, videos as well. Um, and we definitely appreciate it. The cursing, you know, we're going to have to cut back on the cursing eventually. As of right now, it's kind of okay. But I think all of us, you know, curse words is just kind of part of our vocabulary. It, and we're just so, we don't notice it ourselves probably, but just from a YouTube standpoint, YouTube doesn't like a lot of vulgar language. Like I said, it's different uh, words that they will bleep or they may, you know, kind of flag flag the video or flag my channel for. So I don't want to lose my channel or get my channel flagged. So that is something that, um, you know, we'll have to definitely work on as well. Well, that's fine. I can limit my cursing. Okay. To a minimum of... Twelve cuss words. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, I try to find alternative. We gotta find alternative words for cuss words, basically. Instead of saying fuck, we need to say uh, something else. Finuck or you know, something else. We have to figure yeah, it out. Screw, screw you. Yeah, screw, screw you. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Guess what? I almost what? had a panic attack today. Oh my goodness. I done got up, took a nap, woke up, walked in my kitchen, and something told me to look down. And by the stove, I saw a baby snake. Oh my goodness. Man, you talk about I was in here screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so I already know you didn't get it. So who you had to call? I ain't call nobody. I ain't had to call nobody. I got it. It was like I said, it was a little baby snake, probably no longer than maybe like I don't know, maybe seven inches long, if that, seven, eight inches long. And I was just so surprised. I've been in this this house almost twenty years and I've never seen a snake in here. So that was the first time I ever seen a snake in here. My um, lawn guy did cut the grass today. So I don't know if that may have, you know, maybe, you know, waking them up or something out in the yard. And this one just happened to get it, get his way in. Um, but yeah, I panicked. 
I panicked. I, I text my mom. I sent her a video. I'm like, look at that. She was like, you know, you got to get it. How you going to get it? You going to get it. How you going to get it? So luckily I had, um, I, I had, I have like these little, um, you know, you have like the little, what they call them? The sticky traps. Yeah. For like mouse or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. So I had to find, I know I had some in here somewhere. So I found one and then I ended up just putting this, putting that like on the ground on the floor kitchen floor and it slithered on it and got stuck you know stuck to it or whatnot so so i was able to get it and i threw yeah that was a good job wasn't it so i'm all online trying to figure out okay you know what i need to do going forward so they told me you know a natural repellent is ammonia um, ammonia and vinegar mixed together. So I did that. I put some in the spray bottle. So I sprayed around like my doors, you know, anywhere I cracks that I think, you know, a snake could kind of fit through. Um, I did that, but my mom was like, you need to go, you know, go to, um, Home Depot or Lowe's and buy some, uh, what is it called? Snake away. Mm-hmm. And put that in the yard. She was like, I know you don't like to be out in the yard because my mom has a green thumb she's always out in the yard gardening and stuff like that but me i don't i don't i don't be in the yard at all i can't get to the yard man when he come next week and let him <laughs> spring next yeah, week yeah. shoot i'm gonna put the snake away tomorrow i'm gonna get out there tomorrow because i'm already in the house what <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, man. <laughs> Please don't say that. Now I won't be able to sleep. Shoot, y'all know I already got to have a hard time sleeping. I really won't be able to sleep now. I know tonight is going to be awful. I know I'm not really going to get any sleep tonight. But you need to get you something to drink and something to smoke. And then you can go to sleep after that. Yeah, maybe so. I said so I'm going to. Um, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So I'm going to go to the doctor's. But. Um, it's right by Lowe's, so I'm going to stop at Lowe's and, you know, go pick me up some snake away, and then I'll come home and, you know, sprinkle that around the house on the outside. Mm, well, I hope you solve your problem, because I sure hate to see that. You ain't never seen a snake before? I mean, I like know. around your house? <laughs> I have seen one outside, but I ain't seen it inside. Mm. Okay. I don't want to see now. Uh, yeah. Do you live like around a lot of woods? Yep. Mm. Creeks and shit in the back of my house. Okay. We yeah. be having fun like them field mice once a year. Mm. That's what kind of snake this was. I looked online because I was like, this look kind of strange. Like, it's it's not like, you know, the body cover of it, the skin. It was nothing that I had seen before as far as what I think snakes would look like. It was a, yeah, it was like a grayish, dark grayish black rat snake. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, my God, because it's, I was, yeah, I did my little research real quick on it. Say they have bug eyes, which I looked at it. I was like, yeah, he got some bug eyes. This a rat snake. <laughs> but they said rat snake they said rat snakes are known to be in Alabama, but we're close to Alabama, so I can see why um it would be here. And behind my house is nothing but wood, so anyway, so how was your how was your week? How your life been going? Oh, it's been going good. We've been over here um entertaining for the world games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've been having um some stuff I didn't even know existed. They be um you get a gold medal for break dancing and mm-hmm. pop locking and <laughs> uh-huh. they over here throwing darts for a gold medal. <laughs> All the what kind of games is this, this world ga- like board game. games? They probably play in chess or something. <laughs> oh, so it's it's every other game outside of what would be considered Olympic type games. Yeah, but they playing some softball. They playing flag football, and mm-hmm. I did see some sumo wrestling. Oh, okay. Yeah, sumo wrestling and like wall climbing, all type of. Oh dicks, wow! This this throwing and flying kites. <laughs> hey, whatever you can get a get a uh, a medal for, you know, 
an award to, for being the, the world's best. I'm the world's okay. best distro. The killer part about it, <laughs> right now, I, I read that earlier this morning that um, you know, United States ain't got nothing but one gold medal so far. In what? What category? I think they got that gold medal. Don't quote me, but it was in it was in baseball. Oh, okay. Softball or something. Oh, so we shoot. All the other stuff, we ain't doing nothing. nothing. Right. <laughs> we at the bottom of the totem pole. I guess. No, nah, guess... it was in break dancing. <laughs> 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 Out of all things, right? Yeah. Break dancing. Wow. Break dancing, man. They, then Big Boy was here last night. He did a concert down there. Oh, okay. Yeah. They, I mean, Nine shoot, of, they got money. Oh, yeah, they got plenty of money. The world, they won. It's like like a bid, like the Olympics. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They won a bid like six years ago. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to be last year, but, you know, the pandemic. Right. Pushed everything back a year, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be big for the city, I guess. Yeah, I mean, some for you guys to, yeah, definitely a, a economic boost for the city, you know, to bring all yeah. those people from around the world. And, yeah, yeah that's so. nice. Right, right. So, all right. a couple of years, of stuff will start popping around here from that. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into our t- 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 topics today. Um, I wanted to start off this um episode, and this episode is probably going to we're going to make up for last week, so we'll probably be a little longer on this episode since the last week's was very very short. Um, but I wanted to start off with um, let me turn my mic down just a tad bit. President Biden's son, Hunter. Living his best life, Biden. Um, he's an attorney, um, and unfortunately, he is a you know he is alleged an alleged drug addict, which you know those allegations um, have proven, I guess, proven to be true, considering <laughs> that his iCloud account was hacked recently, um, and. Lord, 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 all kind of videos um, kind of came out. He, he, he definitely was one of those individuals who refuses to delete anything out of his phone. Um, he had videos of him at wild sex parties, new videos, videos with sex workers, video showing him actually with a crack pipe in his mouth smoking crack um it was video it was videos and photos with him holding um you know large firearms and everything and that just kind of it just kind of shook up everything in that white house because of course they're going to try to pull anything to use it against you know president biden and like i said Hunter, he has been open in the past about his struggles with drug addiction. Um, so one of my questions um, is, should, should celebrities or politicians um, be held accountable for their kids' lifestyle choices? Can't be. No way. Because I'm not going to be responsible for my kids' choices. <laughs> you know what I'm but what if you I were the president of the United States? How am I supposed to stop a grown person from? They was doing this stuff before I became the president. They got a drug problem. <laughs> Can't do nothing about that. <laughs> if I knew how to do something about it, I would have been did it by now. Yeah, I'm sure they probably tried to put him in the best rehab facilities, but yeah, especially the mom. She was he he be cussing her out, talking her so crazy. Wow. Yeah, cause he's actually he's actually he was born to President Biden's um, with his wife. first wife. Yeah, his first right, wife. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think he's like the second oldest of his first wife. Yeah, he told that later. She couldn't make it one day. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you say? He said something about her going to school or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, going to school. He's like, you couldn't make it one day in the past. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Yeah, whatever school he was talking about. 
And that's what, you know, not saying that um, a, a drug addict can come from any type of family, no matter what um, class, race, you know, any of that thing. But oftentimes you do hear a lot about, and most times these stories are kept on the hush hush um, when it is, you know, people who are come from wealthy, wealthy families or like, you know, very powerful political families, uh, you know, a lot of times their kids be, their kids be wild and out, man. They have some okay. wild kids who be strung out on drugs, doing all kind of crazy shit. You rarely hear about it. So it's just kind of unfortunate that, you know, somebody had hacked into his, you know, like it's his iCloud and was able to really expose it. Like he he's, he's talked about it before, but it's nothing like actually seeing proof of it. Oh yeah, he was on there. I seen one where he had the dope on the scale and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he would have bought him a scale for his dope. Yeah, balling. <laughs> we out there like shoot, Tony Montana. Nobody <laughs> they just bought an eight ball. They didn't give me all my dope. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, it was crazy when I saw you know saw those videos and photos, but the crack pipe one just it took me out of here. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, shit, I like the video when his daddy go pull out a quarter and say, we passed a bill that if you got a, a, a size, a piece of crack rock, big as this quarter, we sit here in jail for five years. Wow, but he ain't nowhere in the jail. And that's their, that's their privilege. Oh, yeah, then that's another thing. Back in the early 90s, where they was – Put niggas in jail left and right for a piece of crack, nigga. That's all you had to have. Mm-hmm. You're right. Crackheads, everybody's going to prison. Right. But yet, you know, the white rich kids, they yeah, get they, to keep, you know, they get to be cracked out and and still be free walking around amongst everybody else. That's, that's absolutely yeah, that's crazy. Um, so my, 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 um, opinion about it um as far as the question um should should they be held accountable for the kids lifestyles choices um i agree with you on that um i don't think that they definitely should not be um held accountable everybody everybody has um um the it's every to each his own you know people live their lives how they live their lives um unfortunately you know a lot of times drug addiction will take a, a huge toll on a family unit. I'm sure the Bidens, um, I'm sure the Bidens just kind of, maybe they, I'm sure they've dealt with it for a very, very long time. And um, like you said, they may have, uh, they might not necessarily know how to handle it at this point. Cause I'm sure, you know, you can keep sending somebody to rehab, but until, you know, Hunter want to actually change for himself, you know, for the better, then it's not much else that, you know, everybody can do, but in the meantime, just let them live their life. It, it's on them. The public and the media is, are the ones that, you know, we shouldn't be crucifying, crucifying the parents because of, you know, because of these kids um, and the way they, you know, way they, the, the way that they choose that they live their life. Um, what else did I have down here? Why does society, another question that I w- wanted to ask was, why does society put so much pressure on um celebrities or you know like i said or wealthy people popular people um to live straightforward and a positive life because they get to because they making money being famous and we get to watch them you know what i'm saying those are the people we get to see you know on tv and 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 those the people you you would think with those type of positions, uh-huh. they would be straight and narrow, you know, even though they human like everybody else. And people just got to realize that they are not. But I can understand why they would expect them to be, but, you know, nobody's perfect. Right. And I think that's what the public needs to understand. Like, you know, not even with, well, I guess we are talking about celebrities and um, people who are in the spotlight. Um, a lot of times, you know, I don't know why people who are fans and super, super, what they call super fans of, um, you know, of these celebrities, they they put them in such a high regard. And it's, it, it's just to the point to they put them so high far up on the pedestal that they forget, like you said, they forget that they're just regular people like 
they everyday people. They itch, they scratch, they get, they get they get funky, you know, just like us, you know. <laughs> right. They take they have to take baths, they have to cook, they gotta change diapers, they have to you know, it's so many things that they just regular pe- regular everyday people, they just have been, you know, I, I guess you would consider blessed um to just live a different type of life. Um, but even with millions and billions of dollars and 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 having access to like so much luxury um none of that really matters because you know it's a lot of them and we oftentimes hear these stories where you know a lot of um you know a lot of these high profile people um either suffer from drug addiction they may suffer from depression mental illnesses like it'd be a lot of things like the being wealthy and, and, and living this luxurious lifestyle or just being a powerful person, you know, although it has its perks, it definitely has its downfalls as well, you know? Right. And people have to just, you know, understand understand that that they're regular people. Um, Biden's next wife or current wife, um, Jill Biden, um, she was called out, <clears throat> speaking of them, she was called out uh, for using a stereotypical um, term um, during a recent speech. Um, she was actually speaking at a um, Latino nonprofit um, organization, just some type of conference um, that they had, um, where she kind of likened um, the diversity of Latino American people and she compared it to um she compared it to breakfast tacos that she had recently got at a local restaurant. I didn't think that that way. What did you think? She was talking about cities. She said a bodega in New York and Brooklyn and she said something about Miami. Mhm. Blossom and then she said and like the taco <laughs> <laughs> that was some bullshit. You know that was some bullshit. She shouldn't have said so that. Whatever city she was saying, she was talking about. <laughs> no, no, no. Breakfast tacos was definitely tacos. Period was definitely the wrong word that yeah, she, she should have used. She should have used something else to describe, like she said, Brooklyn and a bodega. I think she said Miami Blossom, some cars. Right, place. like breakfast tacos. Because she had just had it that morning. I, that's like, what I'm saying, but morning. yeah, but I'm like, she didn't run. Who is her writer? Like, they be having speech writers and shit. Who the fuck put that in there? <laughs> that motherfucker taco might have been good. <laughs> she, she, might, she might as well should have said, I mean, that's just like if she would have said the she diversity, no, the something something about the black community kind of it definitely reminds me of you know fried the best fried chicken i've ever had in birmingham alabama he ain't say nothing about no community no i'm just i'm hypothetically speaking i'm like what if it's the same as if she would have said something good about the black community but then compared it to the best fried chicken i had at this little hole in the wall spot in alabama you see how crazy that sound? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, they ate up for it. Yeah, they ate her ass up for it. The Latinos <laughs> ate her ass up. <laughs> I think she, yeah, I think she did come back and make an apology as well. Yeah, she did. <laughs> apology for it. These people, these damn politicians and and Joe Biden, he reading the teleprompter like literally every word on it. His, little teleprompter blooper he made the other day reading some crazy shit like people <laughs> these people need to get together man <laughs> i seen a video where that fool just fell off a bike or something yeah <laughs> 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 he just fell. I'm like, he's in them. <laughs> right <laughs> oh, no, what no what, what was cra- that, what was crazy is that he literally came across the street on the bike and he stopped yeah. And then fail. That's the crazy. Oh, 
<laughs> it ain't like he was still moving and the bike just kind of flipped down. He fell, but he, he actually made a complete stop. And then <laughs> a nice fall, too. I love the old people, but man, they, they need to get these old people out of these damn, these damn uh, positions, positions, these offices. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we I'm need somebody it, younger, so, man. So old. <laughs> Especially where I'm at, man. They lay the woo. I was like mm-hmm. 70 years old. And when she was in college, they, they, she, they got the picture of her with the black face on. All that. Oh, my God. Oh, Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Black face back in college. Why y'all ain't out voting? Shit, you can't out vote them people, man. They won't ain't B. We call her ain't B. <laughs> y'all better black folks better get out there and vote she, man, it's a lot of black people in alabama black. yeah but it's gonna take more than just us though yeah the latinos there too y'all got asians in alabama man these folks won't ain't be ain't be ain't be well if y'all don't vote that you y'all making excuses y'all gotta get her old ass about it now i agree so we can't even get the, the the beginning of a lottery over here, uh, uh, Christine <clears throat> knows none of that. We can't even get it to to even vote on. Mm. <laughs> we can't even get it on the on the um. Yeah, well they yeah the Georgia the ain't ballot. putting it on. They ain't putting it on the on ours either on the ballot. But y'all got the casino. Y'all got lottery. I mean, mm. y'all got the lottery. Oh, you we saying like the, the oh your regular lottery? Yeah, we can't even get that on the ballot. Mm. Every time they put it on there, they'll find every reason in the world not to let them need to do it. Mm. I give up on Alabama. I just hope before I die, we get something. <laughs> something. Right. <clears throat> All right. So, going moving on to our crazy topics of the day. Um, that was uh, well, continuation. I guess today is a crazy topic day. Um, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj recently shut, uh, she shook up London actually. Um, she was there for the wireless festival, um, this past, I think the wireless festival actually lasts like a couple of weekends in a row. Um, but there was thousands of people, all of your, your, you know, your favorite artists, Lil Uzi, the city girls, I believe Playboy Cardi was there, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion. Everybody that you can think of was performing at the Wireless Fest. Um, So, of course, um, the self-professed queen of hip-hop, Nicki Minaj, was there as well. Um, But what was kind of crazy was that um, it looks like she had a situation where um, she um, is known, well, allegedly, is known to arrive, um, because I've never been to a concert. She's known to arrive to her concerts um, pretty late. She arrived to her performance slot, um, they said late, and then she only performed maybe like 20 to 30 minutes. That was the time um, slot that they gave her as far as the time frame that she could perform her songs. All of that was cool. You know, everything as far as the performance and everything um, was wonderful, um, according to her fans. Um, so because of the, I guess because of the her set, her performance set was so short, uh, she wanted to also um, just kind of still give back to her fans because it's been a while since, since she's had uh, traveled overseas internationally. Um, so she decided, she decided to do a, a, a spur of the moment pop up meet and greet just in in the city you know just somewhere randomly in the city so she let her fans know where she was going to be um and what time and it was thousands of fans that packed the streets um i, I want to say it happened in a place called camden if i'm not mistaken but it was thousands of fans. So a video <clears throat> videos were coming out basically showing all the, you know, hoopla that was happening. Um, Nicki Minaj, she had security with her as well. Um, but there was one fan who kind of got close to her, you know, as an exciting fan. Um, this is probably their first time actually seeing Nicki Minaj face to face up close and personal the fan was in the process of, you know, taking a selfie video. So the fan's back was toward 
Nicki Minaj while they walking through the crowd and everything. It's like so much hecticness going on. So the fan is walking through the crowd. The fan had their like phone up and they're recording a video to try to get this selfie with Nicki Minaj in the back. And Nicki, Nicki Minaj just happened to shove the hell out of the fan. <laughs> She was looking for somebody to shoot. She had to kill that man. She, she shut the hell out of that thing. <laughs> like, get like, on hey. me. <laughs> you better be glad that man ain't want whip blast right there when she popped his neck. All right. Pushing that man and shit. Man, when I first saw that video, I was dying laughing. It was, it was, it was, it was funny at first, right? But then I started thinking about it. I'm like, wait a minute. What did she expect was going to happen when she just happened to decide, hey, I'm going to be here at 2.30, all my fans come out, and I'm going to meet you on the street. Like, what did she expect to happen? Like, like people, it was like literally really no moving room. It was that many people. They were surrounding her. I mean, they was all up on the security, police, you know, police officers or whatnot that was with her. It was so much going on. Like, there's no way there's – there wasn't enough room for anyone to kind of move around or to give her some type of breathing room. You know what I mean? Some space around her. So she was bound to get touched by somebody. She just panicked and just start and just pushed back. Yeah. He wasn't doing nothing to her. He He, wasn't doing shit. He was too busy to try to get down film that shit with his back turned. Right. He just pushed his ass because he was the closest one to her. Right. She was probably thinking somebody was in the crowd trying to stab or try to assassinate <laughs> the way she pushed that ass. Uh, yeah, that shit was right. <laughs> so, you know, you have a couple of people like on the blogs and stuff like that. Now that some people feel like Nicki Minaj was in the right for pushing the fans and other people feel like she was in the wrong. One reason they feel like she was in the wrong was because this was a this was a little black gay dude that she pushed. She now, don't know he gay. I know that, but you know, you know how this public. Let me just say what the public saying. <laughs> I know that. Um, this a little a little black gay dude. Some people feel like if this would have been, say for instance, this would have been a, a a little girl. Would she would you you think Nicki Minaj would have pushed her the same way? No, nah, she picked him to push. He was a lot, she could have pushed more than him. She picked him by he was random. Right. And that's she the that's know. the part I'm like, it's kinda like, damn, Nikki, you had to push the little gay dude like that now. She he was the one when she was panicking. He was she was the one he saw got. She was the one he saw. No, don't don't you kind of you trying to double back on what you just said. You said it was so many other people that was on, it was so many people on Nikki, like literally that saying, close that's to her. The one, that's the one she chose to push, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. She could have pushed anybody, but she just like nigga, you. She had the Everybody. option to push anybody. Everybody right. was up on her. Yeah, he just happened to be the one. And she, yeah, he happened to be the one, and that's why I said some people in the public feel as though she was dead ass wrong. To push the little black gay dude, she could have pushed a girl. It would, but then if she would have pushed a girl, you know what I'm saying? What type of black backlash? They feel as though she didn't get enough backlash because it was a little black gay dude. Now, if it would have been a female, a little girl that she pushed, um, some people feel as though Nikki probably would have received more backlash. I mean, she could have got more backlash if Brother said he wanted to press charges or something. Right, and I and that's probably what I would have done. But he said he wasn't gonna do that though. On the look, on the little clip, I said he said he all right with it. He oh, was just okay. happy he touched it. Oh, okay, he was <laughs> he was so proud to be yeah next to Nikki, and said, shoot, his video was seen across the world. Everybody saw that vid that push, honey. But he she me. right, she yeah, should have been. He should have been like oh. I got a crook in my neck. She she snapped my joint out of place. So she should send for him to go to her next concert. Just to, you know what I'm saying, to be on the safe side. Damage control, basically. Yeah. If you come to America, we're going to kick it for about 20 minutes. <laughs> you go going to come. <laughs> go to my concert. <laughs> 
Child. Anyway, so Nikki, you were dead wrong for that. You know what I'm saying? Had it been me, had it been a little a little girl, especially if it if it had been a little hood chick, a little hood city girl, Nikki, you would have got punched in your face. The city oh, girl the city girl would have got beat up. Because of all the security she had, but she, at least she would have, at least she would have stepped to her. Oh, she, oh yeah, yeah, it would have been like that goddamn motherfucker that ran on the stage, that little baby, you saw that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that motherfucker, that. They snatched him up so quick. <laughs> they pushed that motherfucker so hard, he, I know he tore his, his neck, he probably hit his neck on the goddamn, um, on the little gate that was down there. <laughs> That was flying off the stage, oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, my my reflexes. If I was, if that was me, that got pushed by Nick Minaj, and I'm just simply being a super fan of hers and trying to get me a little self video. Yeah, I would have, I would have been beat up. I would have been beat down that night, that day. Cause oh, I, w- I would have been on the floor. They had to come get the ambulance and come get me. I'm saying, yeah. After I don't try to swing on her, I would have swung oh. back. That's just oh, human. That's gonna kill you. That's gonna kill human you. re my human reflexes with a boulder. I would have tried to do something. Well, yeah. I'm smart you. It you wasn't like she just. There. It wasn't like she just did like a little small little mush. You know, pushed a little dude. She, I mean, it's like with all her force. She yeah. just pushed him. It was just too much. I try to see if I can give me a hundred k or something. They would have beat me. They would have beat me down. To a bloody pulp. But yeah. like you said, oh, I would have got a would. check out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would have got a check out of it for Fuck sure. Me. I don't give a damn about her touching me. Uh, I'm going to touch her a little bit too. Yeah. <laughs> no, they don't want to shut out of court. Right. Anyway. Okay, so moving on from Nicki Minaj. Hopefully, everybody, we do have some listeners over in um, London. I love, 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 love Europe to death, and I can't wait to go back. Um, but hopefully, you guys had a wonderful, wonderful time at the Wireless Fest. Um, Gilly, Gilly the Kid, um, former rapper turned podcaster. Uh, many of us know in the you know urban hip hop uh, you know area. Um, we know of Gilly and Wallows, um, their podcast called Million Dollars Worth the Game. So recently he they were interviewing um uh, super producer Southside and Gilly was taking a few shots at <clears throat> at Rick Ross. Um basically just talking about clowning Rick Ross. Basically, apparently Rick Ross had made some you know, some disparaging kind of shady comments towards Gilly um, under a post in the comments section. And then Gilly took to his podcast uh, basically basically to kind of clown, clown Rick Ross about him, you know, purchasing cows and putting them on his property, his compound over here in Atlanta. Um, and then Rick Ross, you know, kind of clapped back as well. It, as, at Gil, excuse me, I can't talk today clown and clap back at um at gilly today as well so it's kind of been an old man beefing internet beef going on between these two um i want to see kind of how this all gonna play out though <laughs> what you yeah. think about this situation hey gilly stuck his chest out he really he big man so big just, big man i, I want to see each other in person goddamn. i want to see how it go after that Mm-hmm. A lot of this talking back and forth on the internet. Everybody can do that. But if I was when I seen him, though, I'd go straight. For, I'd grab him around the neck and pick him up. Like, hey, look, young me. What right. You <laughs> <laughs> I just said, when you see me, I ain't going to do that. Right. At all. <laughs> like, Gilly. He was big man. You could tell he had been sitting on that for a minute too. Like he he let that boil over in his mind. Uh, Rick Ross, I guess he Rick Ross bought him a cow for his farm, and he was like, "You bought a cow, cow nigga." I'm like, right. Hey, I, bought, I bought me a stud cow nigga. I'm for now, finna give me some cows. Right. <laughs> Right, and Ross like, why are you worried about me and how much I'm paying for my cows on my farm on my land? You need to be. We say you need to be worried about if you got enough money to take care of your wife and kids. Yeah, yeah. And I thought Ross, Ross, 
Uh, Ross was hitting at him when he uh put the picture on the floor where you can see what he was walking on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> marble flows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, what I'm walking on barefoot to do while you out here. Right. Trying to try to drink at a nigga. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. And then we had another situation. Um, Orlando Brown. Orlando Brown. Um, some of you would definitely remember Orlando Brown if you remember like the Disney Channel. Some of the he was a child actor. Um, uh, African American. Um, I forgot what all shows he played on. Um, but <clears throat> he was, um, you know, successful as a child actor. Um, uh, when he, you know, of course, grew up, he kind of fell off. He fell off. Um, uh, I think he was, you know, addicted to some drugs. Not sure which ones. Um, but he will always just be trolling on the internet and saying all kind of craziness, you know, and shooting kind of crazy videos and he would post it on the internet. And then I think in the most recent years, uh, we would see him, you know, at a church and many of us thought he was getting his life together, but apparently he is back on his BS. Um, he did an interview with, um, this, uh, influencer called funny Marco and he was sitting down with him, and Funny Marco asked Orlando, um, basically, what did he say about 106 and Park? Did he still watch it, or did he miss uh, 106 and Park? I believe that's what he said. Yeah. And then he mentioned <clears throat> in his, um, you know, response, response, he just mentioned, he was like, yeah, I, I miss, he was like, 106 and Park, yeah, I miss it. And then he said something about, I miss nah, it with Bow Wow's. No, nah, the host said, the host said something about Bow Wow. He said, you fuck with, he said, yeah, I fuck with Bow Wow. Yeah, he got some good. Yeah, he said, he said, yeah, I love Bow Wow. He got some Bob with. <laughs> 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 yeah, he said, yeah, I fuck with Bow Wow. Yeah, he said, yeah, I fuck with Bow Wow. Man, Orlando Brown is fucking retarded. He is re- he is retarded bad. If you guys remember, if you know something, right? <laughs> if you remember a good five ten years ago, Orlando, um, he like I said, he used to be trolling on the internet so much, just doing all kind of craziness, and for him to just come out with this little off the wall comment about Bow Wow, it is hilarious. So. If y'all come across this video, you know, definitely check it out. It was it was it was fucking hilarious to me. And then um didn't Bow Wow respond? Yeah, he just said about letting men on drugs and he a good guy, but he just on drugs and nobody take him serious and all that stuff. He right. just trying to play it down. Yeah. Yeah. Some people some people is not even worth kind of going back and forth and getting into it with. It's like I live this life and you live in yours. You know, mm-hmm. we we live two different, we on two different levels. Like why would I even go back and forth with you? So I'm glad that Bow Wow kind of took the high road in that situation and not, you, you know, really go in. Cause yeah, you know, some people like be dealing with so much in their lives and um, hopefully Orlando, hopefully Orlando, you just trolling. And this is not a sign of you being back on drugs heavily. Um, however, if, you know, if he is, hopefully he will, you know, get some help. Or he can go over there with Hunter and they can have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> right. He can have a time of his life over there with Hunter yeah, yeah. Biden, baby. <laughs> I got them holes and everything over there. Right. He got it all, honey. <laughs> Let's make it on the beat. He gave me right for he having sick every time. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I tell you, people. Some people be living the. I mean, when they really like take advantage of their life. Oh yeah, they buy. They take advantage of like they live their life to the fullest every day. Yeah, because he was in some nice places. Had some nice women smoking crack with him too. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyway, all right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, Don't forget, 
Check us out on Sunday. We will be on YouTube between 8 and 9, no later than 9 o'clock p.m. for sure. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel at Straightforward with Miss B. And turn on that bell so you can be notified when we go live. Uh-huh. And outside of that, um, do you want to tell people bye bye? Bye, people. See you next time. All right. Don't forget to follow us as well on all social media at Straightforward MSB. And then also, you know, subscribe to one of our. You know, our podcast on your favorite, favorite streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple, Google, we're everywhere. Um, so definitely, you know, make sure you, you, you're tuning in to us. And um, to next time, peace out. <laughs> <laughs>